Hi friends, this is Gautam. In this video tutorial, I can teach the topic IP address and subnetting. So the expansion of IP address is an internet protocol address. So there are two versions are there, IP version 4 and IP version 6. IP version 4 is an 32 bit address and IP version 6 is an 128 bit address. So in this video tutorial, I can teach the topic IP version 4. So what is the usage of IP address? For an example, in a classroom, if you want to point out particular student means, we can call up his name to point out that student. So same like in networking, if you want to point out particular device means, through the IP address, we can point out that device. So let's we can see. So IP version 4, IP version 4 is an 32 bit address. So it contains 4 octet. Each octet have an 8 bits. Dot. dot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 dot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so ip version 4 is an 32 bit address so each octet have 8 bits so in ip version 4 4 octets are there so each octets have 8 bits here we can see 8 so first octet have 8 bits and second octet also have 8 bits so totally 16 and third octet also have 8 bits so totally 24 bits then fourth octet also have 8 bits so totally 32 bit address so each octet starts with 0 and ends with 255 so each octet the value can be started with 0 and ends with 255 so if any of the octet the value should be greater than 255 means so that IP address is not an valid IP address is an invalid address so there are five classes are there in IP version 4 let's we can see so class A so the class A starts with 1 to 126 so next class B Class B starts with 128 to 191 and class C starts with 192 to 223 and class D starts with 224 to 239 and class E starts with 242 to 255 so ip version 4 is an 32 bit address so ip version 4 have 4 octets so each octet have 8 bits so totally 32 bits and there are 5 classes are there in ip version 4 so class a class b class c class d and class e so class a starts with 1 2 u for example if it is class a ip address means class a ip address means the range should be 1 to 126 so in the first octet the value should be 55 means so that comes under class a because 1 to 126 means if it means it is an class a so if it is class b address means the value should become 128 to 191 so we have to check only first octet so the first octet value should be checked if it is class A means the value should be comes under 1 to 126 if it is class B means 128 to 191 if it is class C means 192 to 223 so in real time we can use class A class B and class C so the class D and E we cannot use because class D is used for multicast address so multicast address means it's like group for example in for example we are taken routing protocols so eigrp routing protocol means so that time the multicast address used for that means 224.0.0.10 is used for eigrp routing protocol for example ospf routing protocol means we can use 224.0.0.5 and 224.0.0.6 so this IP address is used for multicast address. This is an example uh, multicast address for EHRP and this 
two of the IP address are used for OSPF routing protocol and class E is used for military and research purpose so class D and class E we cannot use it in real time so we can use only class A class B and class E so use class A class B class E so using these three classes only we can assign the IP address to the system so here we can see class A starts with 1 to 126 and class B starts with 128 so 127 is missing here because 127 is used for loopback address so loopback address means is a testing purpose we can use this address for an example 127.0.0.1 so this is used for our ethernet port for an example in your laptop so first of all your NIC card network interface card that port is working or not so just we can go to command from for example go to command from and I will ping 127.0.0.1 so if I press enter means I will get reply so if I am not get reply means my network interface card is not working yeah I will get replay so that means my network interface card NIC card is working so it's a testing purpose so 127 is a loopback address it is used for testing purpose <coughs> next subnet mask so subnet mask is used for identify how many bit is net ID and how many bits is an host ID so if it is net ID means that should be constant it cannot be changed if it is host bit means it should be changing randomly let's we can see so subnet mask is used to identify how many bits is an net ID and how many bits is an host ID okay so for example class A the default subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 so that means first octet so each octet having 8 bits so the first octet so first 